Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Psych Coffee Plays, where we are playing through Chained Echoes. If you are just joining, we have a whole playlist of Chained Echoes in the backlog that you can go watch. And for the holiday season, we are releasing a one hour episode every day from now. And this recording should be going live on Monday. So all the way through Saturday, you should be seeing one episode every day. Thank you for joining us for this. As always, like and subscribe, comment on some stuff that maybe you want to chat about in the comment section below and share it with your friends if you want to. Now that we got that out of the way, I say we get back into it. Last episode, we finished a whole bunch of preparation and now we're just going to talk to the, guitar the cartographer, it looks like, about one maybe one more tutorial and then we're going to finally get into the adventure of playing this game. I am so excited. I'm so excited to do this. What is that? Oh, that's a thing that we need to sell, I think, right? All right, let's do this. What do you have to say to us? There you are. I need to tell you a few things. See that huge beast? Oh, yeah. On your journey, you will sometimes encounter monsters that are too strong for you. Stay away. This monster is called a unique monster. It means that you won't find Tack the Yak a second time in the world. They mostly drop special items. Okay, so those are the bosses they were talking about. And when they were mentioning that adventurous go, that's probably what they meant is if you go there and you're, you're part of the Adventurers Guild, you can find information on Tack the Yak, and then we can figure out how to actually fight him and get the special items. That's cool, I like that system. So much for that. Follow me to the west. To the west we go, staying away from Tack the Yak. Yo, what's up, bro? Do you see the symbol here on the ground? I do. The natives of Valandis put these to indicate buried treasure. There are three little arrows on it. One points towards the treasure, while the other two are fakes that try to mislead you. Somewhere in the area will be another symbol, which points towards the same treasure. Now, you can guess where the treasure is by inspecting the point they intersect in. Great, isn't it? Go ahead and grab it. And then we can head to our next position of interest up north. There's so much... There, I like how they're doing this, because there's a ton of depth to this game, and they had to try and explain it quickly, as best they could, um, and I like it. All right, so we have these three arrows. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, uh, Lenny. That points down over there and over there. And then this one also points it points away. I think we're going to follow this one. No? Okay, maybe it's over here. Where do they intersect? I don't... I guess maybe where this one... Right here. Yeah, okay. We got the buried treasure. See, it was where that guy met this one. They kind of came together to right there. So now we need to go up north. Oh, but we can go into this building. What's in here? Hello. For the past few days, my husband's been staring through the window at the windmills. This morning, he seemed to have discovered something and ran off towards them. Well, maybe we should um, investigate that. Where's the windmills? Windmills. Oh, windmills. What's this? Domestic bug. I like this world. This is cool. Oh, hi there. Bye. Oh, we're engaging. What? I thought those were sheep, but they look like rock turtles. What are you weak to? You're weak to wind. And you have no weakness or strength. Okay, cool. Easy enough. Wind attack. Boom. Well, they hit pretty hard, though. Oh, cool. Awaken spirit and to heal all our things that we got with that cleric symbol. I think that's great. Revive a character with 10% and then heal everyone for 0.3. Oh, those are pretty cool. I definitely want to be upgrading that. I think that this guy's going to get heal all this is like first thing that we start upgrading when we can upgrade our skills. But we're going to do... More wind attack. I don't know if we really need a buff for this. We're gonna armor break these guys. I have the feeling that they might have a lot of health. Wide swing, everyone. Boom. Nice critical there. <laughs> I didn't expect them to sing. No, we'll put them to sleep. Okay, so now we finally found some... Uh, What is it? The guys that do buffs and debuffs? Some serious ones to us? 
Wind attack. Let's get rid of this box fly. Boom. Woke up early. Glenn woke up early. Awesome. He's already got the, the break. Oh, he's got HP regen. We're going to want to clear those fast. Can restore HP, but we're doing okay. Let's just do... Uh, let's... Let's... Let's hit him. Boom. That's a good damage attack. Product March. Boost them all up. I need to be paying attention to my overdrive a little bit more. Cleanse. We want to get rid of his HP regen. There we go. And then you're going to do Cross Slash. Doing so much more damage. That's good. Leg attack again. And then we should probably... What's his ultra move? I actually, I really want to... What does it say? Restores TP and grants HP and TP regen for all party members. Oh. We're going to save it. We're going to save the ultra move for later on when we fight something big, but... I, I really want to use it at some point. Let's see what Earth Drum does. Good amount of damage there. Uh-oh. I was not paying attention. I said I needed to, and I didn't. That's not good. We need to have a purple. You have a purple. Gonna hit them with Pandemic, even though they don't have any poison. It's okay. We're gonna do that. I'll hurt him. Missed on that Pandemic bit, but it did kill him. That's good. Cross slash, hopefully that ends the battle. It does, awesome. Cool. He said to go north, so let's go. So much land to explore. Oh, I f figured that might be a combat. Cool. What's your, deals physical damage to all enemies or reduces attack, magic, defense, and mind. That sounds really good too. Um, do, should we just do the ultra move? You know what? Let's just... It's a slurse. <laughs> it's a slurse. <laughs> Let's see how di uh, difficult it is. Strong... Weak to water. Strong against fire. Reminds me of Pokemon. A lot of these creatures are reminding me of, like, Pokemon. Mm, you know what? Let's do... Poetic March. No, we need to be careful. We need that purple, but not many of them have purple. Leg aim. I guess if we have to, we can always switch out for the um, archer. He is not taking a lot of damage. Let's try it out. Let's try this um, power armor salvo. What? <laughs> He's building an entire armor? Okay, that was awesome. That was awesome. I love that. It didn't do a lot of damage, but it sure did hurt him. Uh, it gave him a lot of debuffs. We'll, we'll have to remember that, because that affects everybody, I think. So that means that everyone has it gets a super debuff. Lowers his agility. He already has that. Let's just save our TP to attacks. Brings us into overdrive. And do poetic march to keep that going. Because this combat looks like it's going to take a minute. Ow. Cross slash will bring us back down a little bit. And then keep doing water thrust to finish it off. Perfect. It's nice to be back in combat. It's cool to read and learn about what's going on in the world, but it's fun to do combat. Dude, are you okay? Oh, okay. We can't help him out yet, guys. We'll be back. You just don't bleed out yet. He said to the north. Up here? Don't get hit by the pony test. I mean, the slurses. I'm, I'm trying, bro. 
maybe I should look at the map. What is that? What is that? What is that arrow thing? Oh, we can go down here, guys. Oh, no. What's down here? Loot? Small bat? Potato shaped something? Oh, there's so much exploring you can do in this game. I was like, oh, this is this is a cool little RPG, uh, JRPG game. We're looking at maybe twenty, maybe twenty five hours, and now I'm playing this. I'm like, oh, we could we could be doing this for a long time. Do I dare? There's a loud sound in the far distance. You don't think you can reach it from here. So probably in a separate cave, we just opened a door. All right. Can we do anything here? Are we stuck? What What is the point? Is this like a tease? Like, a haha, you can't get here, but look at what's, what's over there. Yeah, I guess so. I can't really go anywhere that way. All right. So. Oh, we got another thing. Do those just pop up as you... They do. But doesn't that mean that you can technically, like, go through a door, a loading door, then go back through it, and it loads all that stuff back in for you? So if I come up here, is there going to be... Oh, boy. I feel like that's something that can be exploited if we really wanted to. Just, just... For a quick look. I wonder if the enemies all respawn too, so that's kind of their... Like... For reals. I just walked up, came back down, and there it is. Forgot, and I just have... Is that all loot, by the way? Like, let's, let's take a look at this stuff. Items. Flask of slime. Dirty wool. Bathy, used bandage. Yeah, these are loot. Like, you can sell it for money. Oh, boy, guys. That's an exploit that we could totally do. Like, we could just... I'm not gonna... You could run it. Like, there was nothing over there to grab. But, yeah, you could literally just run this for a minute or two. <laughs> oh, no. The gamer in me wants to sit here for the next hour collecting all this stuff. But we're we're going to progress forward and not break the economy. There's a whole other area down there that we can go into. I wonder if that that little arrow marker, if that's just showing that, like, oh, that's where Farron Sport is. I think that's what that means. So we probably... Oh, we can teleport? Wait, that's not what I want. That, not that. Can't we teleport to that crystal? Maybe we haven't found it yet. Oh, we're in combat. Okay, we'll take this guy out pretty quick. Wasn't too tough. Maybe we can use another uh, ultimate move. Get a bunch of debuffs going. Make them all stronger. Get in our water. Oh, nice. Got a critical attack in. And then let's switch over. And do X slash to keep our overdrive in check. And now it's bleeding too. Nice. I don't know if having the archer and her together is the best. I feel like I want to link. I want to link them differently. I don't know. It's because it's like. The archer feels very supportive. And so does the bard. I'd almost want to... 
I don't know, put the rogue with Killian. And then have the bard and the archer down. I might do that. Finish them off. We got some goodies out of it too. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try that formation change here. So, pretty much remove. Put it right there. Take Rob, who's very support heavy. And that kind of balances that out a little bit, I think. These guys are pretty good fighters. This is like semi-support. Both of them have good support, Glenn and Killian, but they're mainly melee fighters. And then you've got uh, Lenny, who is a magic user, or the main magic fighter, so. Let's continue. See if we can't get this tutorial done. Where is this guy? Am I missing? I'm missing something. He was over here. Told us to grab the, the the stuff and then head north, right? Is it bugged or something, or is he just easy to miss? Oh, we got into combat again. Okay, they do respawn then. You are weak to wind. Don't you be putting Killian to sleep. How did you miss? Killian, are you awake? Guess he woke up. We're missing that guy. All kinds here. That's not good. I know that's going to bring our overdrive down, but that's okay. Get rid of this fly. There we go. Oh, that was a nice hit. Cross slash. We just need to hit him hard, get rid of him. Mm. Get rid of this guy. Boom. Whoa! Got some goods out of that. Um so it's not weak or strong or anything, so. Boom. Oh, we got more of that. Awesome. At least we got some good loot out of it. And we got 13 SP. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I'm missing something, guys. I... Um, I'm, like, standing on it, right? Let's... Teleport there and see if maybe reloading that this map will help. He did say go north, right? We should see what he wants from us. Unless I'm missing... Maybe I'm missing this thing. I'm pretty sure I grabbed it. It even said buried treasure here. I go north... There's enemies. They won't let us go farther that way. Oh, there he is. Oh, dude, why are you hiding over here? Also, look at that star. It doesn't show at all where you are. You notice anything around me? No? This wall here is very crumbly. Put your weight into it and you'll find a hidden cave. During the war, bandits often hid treasure in them and would seal them off. And that's it. I shouldn't keep you any longer. Thanks for your help. I'm heading for Wernshire now. Should you ever get there, please feel free to visit me. Oh, and don't forget about the cave. Awesome. Just slam into it. Nice. There's got to be another... Another place we can crawl down, right? Oh. Oh, that's awesome. We could also grind out um, some SP by fighting the enemies. We're going to want to talk to that guy by the windmill too, aren't we? I was just kind of looking to see if there was any way to get, like, if there was anything else. 
Can we climb down this way? No. Just over there. We don't want to hit more ponytails. Yo, you need help? Help me. Save me from this monstrosity. I failed to defeat it and now it's out to get me. His name's Don Q. His name is Don Q. This is a reference to Don Quixote. If you don't know about that story, it is an old sort of um, fantasy story where this guy essentially attacks a windmill. Oh, I love that. There's, what are you talking about? Can't you see it? This vicious beast towering high up into the sky. I see windmills. Exactly. Do you see the one with the broken wheel? It might look harmless to you, but I can see straight through its illusion. Don't let it deceive you. I beg of you, defeat that monster. You said with the broken wheel. This one? What are we talking about here, boy? I'm clicking... I'm clicking on them. I'm not seeing anything happening here. I don't see a broken wheel yet. Oh, you mean this one? Okay, we're... <laughs> Mimic does nothing. What? Bro. Bro, were you actually... Were you right? All right, well, let's... Uh, it's a Mimic. Interesting. Armor break the Mimic. Does, is it going to attack us? I'm kind of concerned. Uh, no strengths or weaknesses. No buffs. It's almost dead, too. Wow. Defeat a building. We did it. We defeated the building and we gained one whole SP. I... Yes. We should all feel so proud. We are exploring. I like this. Oh, there's also this region over to the left we haven't really explored. So this whole area is the Rothsfield, the Roth, the what is this place? Hang on. It's Rollinsfield. Well, found town collectibles. Help me, please. Oh, yep, we should go save her. Wool turtle. Oh, I was right. They, they are like sheep, but they're turtles. That's so weird. This game's so charming. I love it. Got our overdrive unlocked. They're not really strong or weak to anything. So let's hit you with fire. It's 87 damage. That's good. Poetic March. Boom. Get that good boost in. I like that. I like these guys that I have so far. It's going to be hard if we get more of them and they ask me to, like, swap them out. Although I do like that it's not really a swap out. It's more of, like, you can swap them out mid-combat and then swap them back out super easy. Like, I like that. The linking of them, it's really cool. And it provides some strategy. Uh, let's get rid of this guy real quick. Man, we did even more damage to him that time. Starting to do some serious damage. It's cool. Agility break. We want to watch out for our overdrive here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit pressure point. We're gonna to wanna to cleanse that. We don't want him regening health. Overdrive is the land energy. We'll probably wait till we get to the bard again and have him heal everybody a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and armor break this guy. Cleanse his HP regen. We could do helping hand, but we're almost to the bard. And we can make it. Boom. And he's going to do heal all. Nice. Nice. That was a good heal right there. Cross slash this guy, because the other guy can pretty much just get a normal hit and be and be downed. Or not. It's tankier than I thought. These turtles are tanky. Take care of them. There we go. Nice. Thank, thank the gods for your help. 
Oh, sweet. You can choose who talks. Killian, what are you doing far from the main road? Or we can say, Rob, you should stay on the main road next time. Rob, you're such a... I don't know. There's... Mm. Glenn, don't worry. He's... Yeah. It's a little rude. Rob's a little rude. Glenn, don't worry. We're glad you're unharmed. You're too kind. It was foolish of me to choose this path. Since they've closed the pass, the soldiers on the main roads are sending every merchant back to town. I can't afford to do that, though. I need to get to Cortara, which is why I'm trying to avoid the main road. But I guess that wasn't the brightest idea. I think I should really head back. If you ever come to Basil, pay me a visit. I have to reward you for your help. I think, I think guys, we're going to be spending a lot of time in this game battling things and um, exploring land. I, I saw it. You defeated the windmill. I knew something was wrong with it. Thank you. Not only have you freed this land from it, but you've also saved my sanity. I thought I was losing my mind. But what was that? A mimic? A monster disguising itself as other objects. What a terrifying thought. Oh, we got a rapier? That's cool. Anyway, I will return home now. Thank you for your help. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. But who's going to use it? Who's... Who's that for? Oh. From Degen to Rapier? I have a sword with a slender and pointed blade. It has more attack and more magic. So there's absolutely... It, it loses a crystal slot, but we're not even using one right now. So there's no reason to not equip that. My... Bard dude is really getting beefed up. We went in that cave already. I want to see what's down here. Don't want to get into another fight. Not yet. When we can help it, I'd rather not get into fights. Can we... What's up here? Okay, so we are starting to explore. This is cool. There's a whole exploration to this. We probably will be on this map exploring it for most of this episode. Oh, there's a lot of map here. Oh boy. I guess we should start with what's over here. In this little pocket. Some loot. Can't go wrong with some good old loot. And then this leads up this way. Where are we going? So that's going to lead us northward. I wish I had like a pointer. But we'll go north from our current pointer. It kind of leads us into whatever's all that. We could go back down and go left some more. And then there's all that area. And we're trying to get that way. So yeah, we're probably going to explore out where we are and kind of the, the left area. What would that be? the western uh, side of the map and then go north and then eventually we'll make it to that star up top but we're going to explore we're going to get loot we're going to level up we're going to play this game the way it's meant to be played we're not going to try and speed through it you're not a member of the adventurers guild i have nothing to say to you all right bro i get it oh a stir oh can't someone else use that He's got one, and she has one on. You could put one on, too. Who else might want one? You? But you've got a nice upgraded shirt. I mean, I could give that shirt to her. Okay. He's getting hit a lot more, and I think he has less health than Killian. Actually, that's a good idea. 86 versus 110. Yeah, okay. You're gonna go... Get, you're gonna have that. Which I think is better in almost every... Every manner. Yeah, it just lowers the TP a little bit. But that's fine, because she could use it. Get a little um, boost going on there. No other accessories or class stuff to give. Awesome. Continuing on. More loot. I like loot. We're in, like... Can we do anything here? Or are we, like, locked? We might not be able to do anything until later, huh? Okay, so that's kind of their thing. Like, you can't cross here yet. All right, I guess we'll head back and uh, take that left route. See where that goes.
I like how quick and easy it is to explore in this game. Like, it always feels fun um, exploring this land. It doesn't feel tedious. Oh, you tried to hide that from me. Copus, what is that? That's a sword. Has a little bit less HP because of the gem, which we wouldn't be able to put into this one because it's only a two. But it has a lot more attack power. Can anyone else use it? No. Oh, I think it's worth it. Glenn seems to be surviving just fine as it is. Without any uh, health buffs. And that extra attack is going to be really nice. Right now, our biggest concern is how quickly we can take out the, um, the enemies. We want to be able to survive their hits, but still. Do you see these claw marks? For the past few months, dangerous beasts appeared all over Rolon. They're attacking our cattle at night. No one has seen them, though. As if the goblins were not problematic enough. Yikes. Is there a night and day cycle in this? I wonder. I'm just vibing to this music. It's great. Can we find loot in this wheat field or no? No. And then this kind of leads into its own little thing, huh? More wheat fields. Okay. Wow. Oh, we're almost up to basil. I love the way that they do this. Is this like how the overworld works? This is so cool. And as we find more teleport stones, that'll help out too. Oh dear. Some beasts must have destroyed the fence at night. I've got to repair it, but all my wool turtles have escaped. No. Oh no. Uh, about that. They might look harmless, but they're quite aggressive. Still, I hope that no adventure is running around killing them. Game, you can't do this to me. You can't make me feel bad about the enemy that I'm killing because they're attacking me first. <laughs> oh, no. Sir, I, I swear to you, I have not been killing your turtles. That's for sure. Yep, for sure. Yep. We discovered a fast travel location. That is a giant cat. What in the world? That's so cool. Do you need anything? We can sell stuff. Yes, we can sell our loot. Boom. I bet we unlocked some new deals. Oh, we unlocked a lot of deals. Uh, let's use our gold for it. Yeah. Get those snacks. Get the dots. We obtained 10 antidotes. Nice. I like that. Nothing else is uh, able to be unlocked. Trove of Midas? Pack of gold nuggets. Sun and moon. Accessories that raise your resistance against dark and light. That's what those are. Dark and light. Awesome. Good to know. Accessories that raise your defense and mind. Includes a single piece of equipment. Probably a great sword. Includes a single piece of equipment, probably a robe, probably light armor. Awesome. But wow. Trove of Midas. Pack of gold nuggets. But you need to sell five rats, five metal frogs, five perpetuan lemons, and five ancient coins. And five capless mushrooms. So that's going to take some time. You could try and farm for that, but we're just going to get it as we go. Anything worth buying? Oh, you actually... Now they sell materials. Oh, this changes things. Oh, this changes things, guys. I want to upgrade everything. Well, first off, I want to upgrade that. So that we can put the uh, crystal into it. So we're going to need to buy a thick hide for that. But I think that everything should get a plus. Or should we be waiting until... Because I've already gotten more weapons that make all of these upgraded stuff kind of useless. It's cool that you can still upgrade it, but there's not really a point to it. I could sell this stuff. You know what? Let's start there. Let's... Oh, wait, no. Let's start with getting... Let's not... Um, sell this with the crystal. Do you want to remove the crystal from your iron sword? Oh. When you remove it, it also takes away its purity. I mean, I have no choice here. I'm not going to really use it. Okay. That's also good to know. If you put it into something, you cannot then uh, um, infuse it more. 
So you better be really careful about what you put into your gear. Wow, that's... I like the system, though. Makes you have to, like, think about what you're doing and when. Get a little extra gold out of that. Now let's buy... We have two, one, four... The hide we need. That costs a lot. Okay, let's try... Buying one. Let's see, that's 500 for each of these 100 ones if I maxed it out. I don't want to spend all of my money. So let's just buy what we need. I think we only need one. Let's see. Upgrading weapon. We need a thick hide. That was a thin hide. Okay, that won't work. I don't think I saw a thick hide in there. We can upgrade this. I think it's deserved. And maybe she'll end up getting the health bo bonus anyways, then. Your rapier could use an upgrade, but we'll need a tin ore. We'll see if he sells one of those. Yours is upgraded fine. Okay. So we want to try and get everything to a plus if we can. So getting the copus and the rapier. So one tin ore and one thick hide, if, if they have it. They do have a tin ore. And then... It doesn't look like they have a thick hide, so I'm going to have to wait on that weapon getting its upgrade. Give that an upgrade. And then we're going to go ahead and set into her spear this. Yes. She could use the health bonus. She's got pretty low health because she's a magic user. I hate this life, like, for real. Do you want to know what it... Do you want to know what's, like, totally worse than living the life of a farmer? Being a farmer's wife. Like, seriously, look at my mom. Not only do they, like, have to help their husbands on the fields, but, like, they also have to continue working at home, always cleaning up after their husbands, as if. This will, like, definitely not happen to me. I'm totally moving to farm sport, whatever. It's a team effort if you want to live. Do you not expect to work at all? Oh boy. Angry cat. Yo, have you talked to my daughter? She doesn't want to live in the village anymore. She dreams to move to the city, traveling the world and going on adventures. I had the same dreams. I always said that I would leave Basil the next year. I said that year, I said that year after year, but before you know it, you get married, have children, and need to settle down. I wish I had made different choices in life. Oh, I guess you feel the same way. Well, then you do you, girl. I mean, if you don't want to live this life, don't live this life. Just don't... At least your mom is respectful. I'm like, well, I did the deed and got married, so now here I am. I don't know. It's a whole topic. Welcome, travelers. Have you met my family? We are living a happy and carefree life here in Bessel. Yeah, dude, I don't know if you've met your family if you're saying that. She doesn't know it yet, but my daughter is going to marry soon. Oh, is she? Oh, you're choosing. Oh, that's the... Oh, okay. I chose a fine man for her. A farmer from Basil, just like me. This will be a nice surprise for her, so please keep it a secret. Hick. Or are you drinking? Sorry, I've had a bit of moonshine. Oh, no. I like that on the outset, you meet the first person, you talk, and you're like, oh, boy, girl, you're just ungrateful. Then you talk to the mom, and you're like, oh, wait, something else is going on. Then you talk to the dad, and you're like, oh, oh. You you should probably know. Oh, we can't tell her? Good luck. Good luck, family. You got this. You'll figure it out, Maybe. Maybe. Please talk to each other. Communicate what you want and what you need. Give me five arc. I'll tell you a secret. Sure, why not? Awesome. To the east is the city of Farnsport. When you follow the coastline from there, you will reach Termina Caves. 
Just before that, there's a huge old tree in a pool of water. You can swim into the tree from behind and reach a secret cave. I don't know what's in there, though. Why didn't I check for myself? Well, I can't swim. If you go from Fire and Sport East, you'll reach a thing, and there's a tree. We'll have to remember, tree in a pool of water, swim behind the tree, there's a secret cave. And it can transport huge quantities of goods over long distances. Pull your money together, and the giant cat will be irreplaceable asset to all of us ill. I have the feeling it's... Oh my gosh, it's so loud. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I love that. What's in here? Oh. It's a bunny. With the past closed, many of our merchants can't cross Kortara. There are also some foreign merchants stranded here that can't return. I wonder if a new war is on the horizon. This war is not going to do anything good for anybody with all these merchants unable to travel now. <laughs> I'm so drunk. Just going to find all of the little loots. Yo, what's up, bro? Some beasts are attacking Basil at night. Last night, they destroyed a fence and dozens of wool turtles escaped into the plains. No one has seen these monsters yet. Rather mysterious, if you ask me. More loot. I'm just going into people's places and taking the stuff out of their chest. It's totally fine, really. Hello. Are you going to be mad at me? No, it's a cat that loves us. You're the best cat. I love cats like that. I'm more of a dog person, but if you give me a cat that, like, jumps up in your lap and, you know, purrs and loves on you and all of that, I'm totally cool with it. I'm chill with them being chill. I don't have to give them a ton of attention, you know what I mean? But I just don't like cats that immediately look at you and just hiss and run away all the time. Ugh. Same with dogs. I don't want a dog that's, you know, barking at you all the time. Oh, there's so much to do in this game. I feel like I'm looking at the time and going like, wow, time's already passed. There's so much to explore and do. What do we do? Guys, what are we going to do? Pet, pet all the animals. That's what we're going to do. That makes me happy every time. I don't know why. Get more sweets. Can't go wrong with more sweets. Is carrots dancing? Oh, excuse me? Hey, come back here. Hey, hey, where are you going? Come here. Who? It's Sonic the carrot. <laughs> what in the world? Where'd this carrot go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where's the carrot? Why is there a running carrot? Did he go up that way? Oh, is he over here? No, I don't think. I, I think we lost him. I really want to know, but there's so much loot to be had. Mr. Carrot? That was an angry looking carrot. No, there he is! Attack of the fruit! The fruit and the veggies are here to attack. What are these things? Their strength is water, their weakness is fire. It looks like all of them have that. Can't, can I, can I, there we go. Yeah, all of them strung to water, weak to fire. Okay. Makes sense. We got Mush, Peppa, Carrie, Brocoli. Of course it's Brocoli. <laughs> and Cornelia. All right, you. Bro, <laughs> use Bro Heal. This is awesome. I'm loving this. Okay, come on. Come on, vegetables. You want to fight? Let's see. Mush, you probably have a lot of defense. I don't know why, but you look like a, a tanky dude. And then the pepper seems to be the healer. Just hit everything. White swing is... These hit everythings are so much better when there's a lot of stuff. Mush does nothing. That makes me more scared than anything. Usually when a... When a thing won't do anything, it's building up for something. Fire attack. Okay, they all are healing each other. This is going to be a tough fight then. Let's try and get rid of one after the other so they can't heal them all. If we spread out our attacks too much, we're never going to get anywhere. Yeah, um... Could heal everyone. Let's do Poetic March, though. Extend the time on that. It'll bring our overdrive down a little bit, too. D 
Did you just lick me? Again, the Pokemon references, Lickitung, can lick you and it paralyzes you. I'm not complaining, I like it, it's just... Um, do we use cross attack? No, let's get rid of him so he can't paralyze anyone else. Oh, I have a feeling he can come back. I don't like that. Is he a potato? A super punch. Let's heal everyone. Good. That's good. I like that. It's a nice heal. Oh, the overdrive is getting maxed out, though. What do we need? Something that's not any of these things. We can use an item. Let's use an item. Restore. Who needs it? Who needs it most? Probably this guy so he can uh, keep healing us. That keeps us from overdriving. To, er, overheating. And then cross slash on this guy to bring it back down. Carrots damaged. Wide swing. Hit them all again. Nice. Is she still paralyzed? We can keep healing everybody. We still have the, the offensive buff for four turns, so that's okay. Well, it's not a strength or a weakness, so it's okay to do. Boom. Is he still alive? I thought that would take him down. Oh, he's still got some health. Okay. Fire thrust on Peppa. Take him out. Healing up the corn again. Okay. Armor break to bring us down in our overdrive. Leg aim. The drop agility. Cornelia is still not doing anything. There we go. And then fire thrust. Hopefully finishes Broccoli off soon. Oh, we're overheating because I was not paying attention. How close are we, though? Close enough that that worked. Um. Oh! What? What is going on? <laughs> they turned into a shish kebab. Oh, it's a mushroom, not a potato. I get it now. Okay. Okay, ultra move. Who's the best ultra move? Not him. Not him. We're going to heal all. Maybe you? Deals high non-elemental magic damage to all enemies. That could be good. Let's do it. We need to hit him hard. Plus, it's a really cool move. Look at this. Boom. Nuclear magic bomb. Did 82 damage. Is that it, though? Only 82? Might have to reconsider using Killian more often for those, because 82 damage would be great against everybody. But not against one person like that. I don't think. Let's hit their agility a little bit. Armor break them. I'm gonna hit them with all the debuffs. Super Lick. Missed this all, but then got to attack again? Wow. Okay, we probably want to do Poetic March. Alright, we're in overdrive mode. This is good. I assume fire is still a weakness. They get act twice. Does that remove it? No. Darn it. It was worth a shot, though. Gonna cross slash. I think we should switch out our bard right now. Wait, who do we have here? Yeah, we're gonna switch you. I think you'll be better off, anyways. Get some bleed going. Oh, sweet, we got Petal Storm too. That's awesome. One hand, I want to get rid of the bard so I can get some more damage going here. But then there's a piece of me that's like, well, we need the health. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, that's not good. Oh, perfect. Pill for time. We got a meal out of them. <laughs> we stole a meal from the shish kebab enemy. Thank you, game, for being amazing and not taking yourself too seriously. You already have that going, so let's just cross slash. Bard could go. They're up next. Does he have any... I don't know if poison shot counts. No. Oh, I can't swap it now. Uh-oh. We can do power shot and barely stay with an overdrive, but it's going to go into the... No, we can't do that. We have to just heal. Let's see. What's a meal give us? Do we have that around here? No? I guess we can try out one of these. If a healing skill type is required by the overdrive, this will trigger it. Oh. Well, we need a magic overdrive then. So that won't work. So instead, we're going to give a snack to them. So they get a little health. Have to deal with that attack there. Oh, he's going to need some health. Ow. What's needed? Magic? Um, he doesn't have any of that. So, item. Give him a snack. We'll be able to get out of this in a second here. There we go. And now it's magic again. We'll barely make it. You need a switch. And then we're going to use Pressure Point. Bring us back down to that overdrive. Oof. Going to be using a heal next turn. You healed 128 of your health. Well, that's just not fair. It's going to have to make you bleed again. Oh. Goody. Uh... Pilfer? I don't even know what that one is. Bleed? Okay, we're just... We're gonna have to deal with it. I know it's not as good, and they get an act, which is not good either. They healed twice! Oh no! That's a terrible thing that they can do. I don't like that at all. We gotta get out of this overheat. Hit them with Pandemic, I guess. Because if they attack us, we're going to be hit with so much damage. And then Pilfer. Nothing to steal, but it brings us back down a little bit. That's not good. Cleanse would bring us down. Not that there's really anything we can do. Armor break would bring us down again. This guy's tough. This is our first, like, big boss I feel like we'll have to fight here. He is hurting. Everyone's kind of hurting. We need to use heal all. There we go. Keep doing that one. Keep that bleed up to help out with the damage. They're just going to keep healing, though. Man. We might be uh, not ready for this fight. We need uh, something to help with our TP. I think we can do it, though. We have our ultra move. Are we using it with Glenn? He's good at knocking them down. Uh, like debuffing them, but they've already got a bunch of debuffs going. I kind of want to use it on uh, the rogue. What is oil going to do? I don't know. Maybe it's going to mix well with the fire. Who knows? What's your thing? Deals high physical damage to one enemy and raises Sienna's agility and crit chance. Yes, please. 
We only need it on one enemy. Oh! Oh, that was so cool. Super corny lullaby. And, okay, good. They wasted their turn on doing that. Heal up everyone some more. Also helps with the overdrive. You need some TP. And we need someone to give you a booster to that, maybe. They still have bleed going on. Let's keep that going. It's been helpful. I don't know what Oil Slash is going to do, but I kind of want it to happen to them again. So that maybe we can hit them with fire soon. They healed. They healed again. So we have to be able to do more than 240 damage in a turn. What does this do? The bleed one does more damage. That's good to know. Grants TP regen. Considering she's got the... Is that for everybody? Oh, sweet. I should have been using that earlier. Oh, overheat. Okay. It's going to hurt him a lot, but... How do we get out of overheat? Of course, you're up and we can't get out of overheat. Awesome. But now you can do that. We're in overdrive again. You're going to have to pilfer just to get us back down. Especially because they act twice. It's really tough. Man, we're going to be spending the rest of this episode fighting them. I wonder how long this is going to take. Especially if they keep healing like that. And they have no health bar, so they're definitely a boss. So we're just going to have to keep going until we kill them. Or we somehow run out of everything we can do. We need to re-up this. I know that's going to put us into over, uh, overheat here. Man, we're not having good um, good rolls with our what we need. Because like we need to do that to bring us back down, but we have no TP. And they're only going to get a regen of like five. Oh, did we just give it to the bard? Okay, well. Hitting us with some fire. Oh! That's not good at all. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Revive. So that we don't have to worry about doing revive. You are going to heal everyone. It's a good thing that we ended up giving him the TP, I guess. We're already in overheat. This is not good. I guess probably just snacks for people. You, you get a snack. Mostly miss. Okay, bleed is done, so we're going to need to go back to that if we can. Right now, we're just going to keep healing people up with snacks. Until we can get out of this overheat. Of course, it's the purple again. Who's up right now? She is... Doesn't even have TP to attack with. What can we even do? If a physical skill type is required, it triggers it. If it's a buff, I don't think that's a buff, and it's not a healing either. I mean, it's a utility, so maybe that'll work? Yes? Okay, awesome. And they're just going to heal up again, and then try and paralyze us again. Which brings us right back into overheat. Awesome. But this will do it now. Okay, awesome. Cool. Let's do that. Finally starting to come down a little bit here. And we're back to the pilfer junk that we can't work with. Man, if that one keeps popping up, we're going to have some issues here. That keeps rolling. It's kind of difficult to deal with. Especially when they attack twice. Okay. Very strategic fights here that we have to do. We need one of these. But again, not enough TP. Ain't that the thing. So we're gonna get his up so that he can attack. That fire thing is just deadly. 
All right, we finally have some time. Cross slash is gonna be great, it brings us down, and it also gets a lot of damage off. The only problem is, is that all that stuff we just did, all that did was it took away all the healing they've been doing. Well, this isn't gonna overdrive us yet. And that brings bleed back on. We're almost to an ultra move. We probably want to use the ultra move with him, if we can. And we're going to do Poetic March, because that's going to bring us down to Overdrive. Oh, there he goes. That's not good. And then he's going to heal up, too. Can we hold out until we can get back to our Bard? I don't know. Revive him up. Pedal Storm, that's good. It's going to bring us down a little bit, too. Nice. Nice. That's a good amount of damage right there. Oh, man. They're back down again because it's just... You got to use it twice? No. Ultra move to save the day. Let's see. <laughs> Everyone else is... Oh, did we do it? Did we just have to, like, survive a certain amount of time or something? We did it! Victory. Oh, wow. That was insane. What did we get out of it? Oh, we got a special weapon. So, we got a couple SP, but we also got a really special weapon. Let's look at it. Probably a spear for her. Yeah, okay. A pole weapon with a metal spearhead. A shushlik instead of the spear. This has that bonus HP because of the gem I put into it. But that is a lot of extra attack and magic. Look at that. 52 magic. That is going to be great. Especially because she's doing so much magic attacks. That's awesome. Man, I can't believe we survived that. That was so tough. Oh, man. This game is great. Look at all this map. We still have the southern region to explore. We still have Basil to find quests in and do stuff in there. That swamp, I don't even know how we're going to get through the swamp yet. Um, I think we've already done that southern stuff because that's like all of the caves under the castle and stuff like that. But then we have the northern area and that's just the beginning of this grand adventure. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We have episodes coming out of this every day until the new year arrives. So stay tuned. You'll get another episode as we go on this grand adventure in Chained Echoes tomorrow at the same time as always. Until then, I leave you with this. May your days be filled with games and your life be filled with fun. Until next time, everyone, have a good one. Thank you.